folks, it's time for BJ's rant. And much like this exciting, crazy 2007 college football season, we've been blessed to witness the race for the Heisman Trophy is just as wacky and inconclusive. I am hard pressed to find another season in which there was such vacillating as to whom the Supreme Hardware should be awarded, especially considering it could go to four or five guys. Now, in years past, there may have been a two or three horse race, but never five Barbaros. May he rest in peace or in dog food. That was a joke, Peter. Now let's break down my four Heisman horses. We'll go in ascending order. First up is Hawaii quarterback Colt Brennan. Just can't get away from the horse references, I know. But in this guy's case, Colt represents an accurate sharpshooting pistol, or as Coach Gray would say, pistol. Brennan is completing 70% of his passes for 26 TDs and 11 picks. He also has six rushing touchdowns. But let's be honest, the dude plays for Hawaii and receives as much respect as OJ in Las Vegas lockup. From Heisman voters to the general college football fan, Brennan might as well be playing on the island of Samoa. Next, we have Mr. Guarantee himself, Mike Hart. Y'all, oops, that's my Texas root shining through you all. Remember, after Michigan lost two straight out the gate, Hart guaranteed a victory over Notre Dame prep. I received a lot of hate mail from Wolverines fans in response to my finding fault with Hart's prediction. Let's see if he guarantees a victory over Ohio State. That notwithstanding, the kid can flat out play. He's put this Michigan team on his back as they've run off eight straight. And doing all the running is Mr. Hart with 1,180 yards and 12 touchdowns in eight games. Remember, he missed two because of an ankle injury. The boy's bad. Now can I get a prediction on that last game of the season up in the big house versus Ohio State? Class, anyone? Bueller? Mr. Hart? My next thoroughbred is Oregon quarterback Dennis Dixon, coming off big wins over USC and previously undefeated Arizona State. Dixon is this week's Heisman flavor of the week for most. Not mine, as you will hear shortly. Dixon is a dynamic athlete that can hurt you with his arm as well as his lower extremities. Theory has it that he runs as fast as he does so no one can see him in that ugly-ass gang green uniform the Ducks wear occasionally. The only time you should see that much green is in the stables at the county fair. But I digress. This isn't about Bull Duke. It's about Double D. The D stands for Dino Mike. That's what it old folks. 20 TDs, 2,074 yards by air with 549 yards and eight touchdowns by land. Although the big number that shines brightest is only three interceptions. Let me spit that out for you. Okay, he can run, he can pass. Now put him in charge of choosing the game day unis, please. And last but not least, my man, Darren McFoot and McFadden. If you've been tuning in to CSTV the last few college football seasons, and I know you have, or you better be, you know that I refer to McFadden as McFoot because his size 15 rope stompers. Big feet, big heart, and big time running ability. Just ask that old ball coach Steve Spurrier and his South Carolina Gamecocks defense. McFadden ran around, through, and over the Gamecocks to the tune of 321 yards. The final stats had him at 323, which would have been a new SEC record. Apparently two yards Felix Jones gained were put in McFadden's tally. So no new record. So let me get this straight. I go home thinking I just set a new record for rushing in the SEC. I engage in the customary celebrating that you're supposed to do in a college town. And then to come to find out, I didn't set a record after all. Fire the stats guy. It's not all bad. McFadden did tie the conference single game rushing record set by some dude from Vanderbilt. I know what you're thinking. Vanderbilt owns the SEC single game individual rushing record? Yes, sir. Frank Mordica or Mordica, I don't know how to say his damn name, 321 in a game back in 1978. Good to know Vandy's wide out. Earl Bennett has some company in the SEC record books. You should expect to see McFadden in the company of the Heisman at the conclusion of the regular season. The young man is a beast, having already gained 1,316 yards with 12 touchdowns, all this time while sharing with Mr. Talented Jones. McFadden can also take it to distance in the kicking game and throw a few passes if need be. Folks, I tell you, this horse is the real deal and has triple crown written all over it, as well as Heisman. Now it's time for me to get it on up out of here. Now, if you want to respond to my rant or you got something you want me to rant on, send it to BJRant at CSTV.com.